This is a public service announcement. Back up your stuff in more than one place. My 2017 MacBook Pro killed two of my external hard drives and my SD card reader all in the last week. My external drives contain everything from my YouTube video files to important documents and even family photos. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this post in my stories last week. Yep, two hard drives dead. And the cause? My 2017 MacBook Pro. For those of you who are new around here, I create videos about music production and music gadgets. My MacBook Pro holds all of my music, audio files, and software. So last week, I connected one of my external drives, the Toshiba drive, to my MacBook Pro, and the thing just wouldn't connect. I kind of figured maybe the external drive just failed, as they sometimes do. I mean, these things don't last forever. But I kept my hopes up, and I figured I'd just go over to my local micro center, and hopefully they could recover my data. Now, the following day, my Seagate drive failed as well. And at this point, I still assumed that it was just the drive and my bad luck. And then just a few days ago, things got explosive, literally. I connected my SD card reader to my MacBook Pro and I heard a pop sound. And immediately after that, I smelled an electrical fire. So I called Apple support and very quickly they escalated me to a senior specialist who told me that I needed to take my MacBook Pro into an Apple store to talk to the geniuses. They were going to actually replace my MacBook Pro with a brand new one and uh, they wanted to take the bad MacBook Pro in in what they call a capture so that they could investigate what's wrong with this machine. So I go over to the Apple store. This place is crowded on a Saturday and the Apple employees were very nice, but they weren't very helpful in coming up with a solution. You see, there was no way to tell what would happen if another USB device was plugged into my MacBook. That's what they would need to do to migrate my data from the old machine to the brand new one. They actually recommended that I back up all my documents and stuff to something like Dropbox, but that would cause me to lose all my applications along with the licenses that were stored on my machine. Now, I really wanted to do this over Wi-Fi, but they actually told me that Apple's migration assistant didn't work over Wi-Fi, which is completely insane because it does. They didn't acknowledge it until I actually pulled up the Apple site and showed it to them. Come on guys, you should know this stuff. The next excuse they gave me is that even if Wi-Fi migration was possible, that the Wi-Fi in their store was gonna be too slow, so they couldn't do it. I mean, they were ready for me to lose everything on my hard drive. Now, I would do the Wi-Fi migration at home, but Apple refused to let me take home both MacBooks. So the only solution I could come up with is coming back home and trying to back up my entire machine to Backblaze, which is a cloud service to back up your data. Now that didn't work either because Backblaze doesn't back up all the information on your machine. To make a long story short, after two more visits to the Apple store and purchasing a MacBook myself, bringing it back home and doing the migration and returning it to them, which Apple was okay with, Apple gave me a new replacement MacBook plus a two terabyte hard drive to replace the broken ones. So what happened to the data on my broken external drives? Well, Micro Center gave me a great solution. They actually had me purchase an external housing, which was about 10 bucks. And what I was able to do was remove the hard drives from my broken units and then put them in this one with the new circuit board. All my data was actually still there. So the lesson here is back up your stuff not just to one place, but maybe to two external drives or an external drive plus the cloud. Backblaze is a very good service, unlimited data. You can even back up connected external drives to Backblaze as well. And be careful with your MacBook USB ports. I Googled around and I couldn't find anyone else who would have the same issue. So hopefully it's just this one case. I still love my MacBook Pro and this experience isn't gonna change that. You guys keep making the music you love safely and back it up. I'll see you guys later. If you need